I've always wanted to try a VR treadmill, but there's been two things stopping me. One, they're kind of expensive. And two, they don't ship to Australia. But all of that has recently changed with the release of the Catwalk C2 Core. This new treadmill is almost half the price of the original and they now ship worldwide. So CatVR was super lovely to send one out to me to review, but there's just one problem. I can't get it up the stairs. So this is a Cat VR treadmill box and it's kind of big and kind of heavy. And my office is upstairs, so I need to work out a way how to get it up there. And my stairs aren't very stable. Ooh. So my plan is to unbox it all here and take it upstairs in bits. Let's go. actually build this thing and there's a million pieces and a million steps so I won't bore you with all the details but I will be uploading the behind the scenes for YouTube members that I just launched if you want to check that out for yourself but I did want to show you what the shoes look like so when you order a catwalk you have to let them know of your shoe size and they send you out a pair of shoes because you have to use the special shoes with the treadmill for it to work and this is what they look like. I really like them. I think they're like a retro futuristic vibe and they don't have shoelaces, just a drawstring. And then there's bits at the bottom. There's like these little wheel bits. And then I think that's where the tracker goes maybe. We'll find out soon when I actually build it. Some time later. All right, it's finally done. It wasn't too painful to build once you actually follow the video instructions. So I'm gonna spend the rest of the afternoon cleaning up all this mess, uh, make sure everything's charged, download some games, and then tomorrow we'll play some actual games on the treadmill. But first, I think we need a sexy montage moment. Whoa. No, no. <laughs> Can I reach it? Oh, I can't. Almost. Okay, I got it. I got it. All right, I finally set up. It took me so long to work out what I was doing wrong. You have to like tell the program what game you're playing and you're ready for it. Let's go. <laughs> this is hilarious. How do I turn? Turning, oh my God. On God. Cool. <laughs> I won't go through here. Oh dear. Fire broke. Oh no. I'm going sideways. Get it. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> this is pretty fun. Oh, my headset's falling off. This is ridiculous. It keeps pulling me left. <laughs> okay, okay. It's turning me too much. So I think I have to like tighten this. Oh god, what did I just do? Oh f I broke it. Oh shit. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, I finally got it working and I break it. So to stop the treadmill pulling you to one side, you have to adjust this little lever at the back and unfortunately, mine came off. But I do want to emphasize that this is a prototype model. It is not the final product. And I did contact CatVR and let them know of the issue and I was able to easily fix it. I just used a little Allen key to tighten the screw and now it works perfectly. All right, back to Blade and Sorcery. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Oh my God, not that way. Over there. Do, 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 do. I'm slipping. Yeah. Get out of my way. Holy shit, I almost fell. In the butt. Hey, get out of here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Come here. I'm gonna run you into this thing. This way. Oh, yeah. I definitely had a bit too much fun testing out Blade and Sorcery, but I think it was time for something more serious, like Half-Life Alex. Man, using this on my big screen beyond, this game's stunning. If I just want to walk casually, I feel like I'm jiving. <laughs> Let's go. Do it all right way. This way. I'm stuck. Look, the sounds of your shoes kind of ruin the immersion. <laughs> Can I not run? Run! This game let me run up the stairs. This is makes the game so much harder. I'm exhausted. 
So you can set it up where you can just like hold your foot out if you want to walk in a separate direction. <laughs> run, 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 run! I can run through them! I felt like the close quarters and limited speed didn't really let you get the most out of the VR treadmill. So I think it was time to try an open world game and of course that meant Skyrim. So it's been a very long time since I played Skyrim VR. I played it years ago and it made me pretty nauseous. A VR treadmill is apparently meant to help with VR nausea, so let's try it out. So we're just gonna go for a nice walk in Skyrim. Pardon me, just going for a run. <laughs> It already. <laughs> oh, it's a moose! Come here, moose! Come here! Yeah! Come back! Come here, moosey! Moosey, moosey, moosey! Come here! <sighs> I need a break. People say gamers are unfit. Well, look at me now. I'm seriously so knackered. Oh, it's a mammoth! Oh, that's awesome! Come on, giant! You and my running legs! Don't stand a chance. There he is. Oh, look at those abs though. He fit. Hello. Ah! Ah! Oh, it's bad already. It's bad already. I have no health. I have no health. I think I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Damn it. I was just trying to admire the view, you jerk. After some Skyrim, I wanted to see how the treadmill worked in a more competitive environment, like in Pavlov VR. All right, where are you? Come on upstairs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bra, bra, bra. Bra, bra. Oh, sugar, honey, ice and tea. Sugar, honey, ice and tea. Sugar, uh. It's out of ammo again. How do we reload? I can't remember. Oh, there's so many. Run! Run! Ah, take this! Run! <laughs> this is way harder than I thought. Oh boy, where is he? Where is he? Oh, run! Okay, get to cover, get to cover, get to cover! This way! <laughs> oh, god damn it. Did I get him? Fudge me. My back hurts. <laughs> It's time to call it. I definitely had fun with the VR treadmill, but don't think it's for your average VR user. This is definitely more for your high-end, hardcore VR fans out there. I think the biggest thing that surprised me was how exhausting it was. Maybe I'm unfit, I don't know, but I was definitely pretty exhausted after using this thing all day. But maybe I kind of like that aspect of it. The fact that I can get a cardio workout while playing games is a big plus in my eyes. But also know, if you are using the VR treadmill, you're gonna get exhausted way quicker than what you usually would. Kind of disappointed with the experience in Half-Life Alex. I don't think it's a great use case for these type of games. I kind of feel like it hindered the gameplay experience and just kind of felt a bit cumbersome. Same with Pavlov. I know lots of people use these treadmills and shooter games, but for me, I kind of felt like it was distracting. I was too busy thinking about my movement rather than the gameplay. Whereas for games like Skyrim, this is where the treadmill really shines. I think in open world games where you can physically walk around and have that immersive experience is really fun. Like being able to physically run away from wolves just adds a whole new level of immersion. And especially from the nausea standpoint, I've always wanted to spend more time in Skyrim VR, but it always made me terribly sick. So now I have a way to play it that doesn't make me nauseous. I'm definitely excited to jump back into the game and get the most out of Skyrim VR. I did enjoy my time with the treadmill and looking forward to testing out further with some different games. And let me know in the comments what games you think I should play on it. But for now, the big problem, where do I actually store it? But anyway, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.